too much. Did I put that much on my forehead? <laughs> guys okay i am back I'm, I'm actually going to get into a little quick makeup look um yeah so let's just get right into it no delay not much talking let's get into it so yeah just right now i'm going to do a small little makeup look i have to run some errands and also pick up the kids from school later so that's kind of like what's on the agenda today nothing major all right you guys this is my ultimate favorite ultimate favorite drugstore besides some some wet and wild um face primers this is one of my ultimate favorite um the master prime by maybelline in the number 400 this is just a primer base it's good at like pore minimizing blurring like seriously you guys so good and when i say that this is so soft to the touch so this is good at you know just pore minimizing and blurring the the um the pores i definitely need that for this area i'm not struggling as much as i used to in this area um my texture is kind of softening up because of my new regimen um it does still need some work but the overall tone i feel like i'm achieving that again so now uh, next i'm going to go in with my charlotte tilbury this is the airbrush flop flop can i talk this is the airbrush flawless foundation Okay, this is a stay all day, all night, um, which I'm not gonna have it on all night. I'm probably gonna take it off later. I'm in uh, uh, number 11, Cool Freud. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna put it like this. I'm just gonna do it here. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab my Fenty. I really do, want, uh, well, I'll just grab this one. This is the Morphe E63 Foundation Brush. All right, you guys, so let's get into, you guys, I had to put, I had to like bring the foundation down my neck. It was looking a little bit like not the same. So yeah, I'm glad I did that. Um, okay, so now let's get into some brows. I feel like I should have bought some different brow product, but oh well. This is what it is for now. All right, I'm liking the brow so far. Now let's get this one the same. I need a new mirror too. I love my baddie because it's pink, but I got it so dirty. We getting there. And I've been using um, castor oil on my brows, you guys, so it's been making my eyebrows grow. And then once I um, like clip them and cut them and stuff, and then you can just see how much more they look better groomed up and stuff. So yeah. I probably won't even clean them up that much, um, so don't be surprised. I'm trying to, I want them to look a little more untamed. That's really the, the style that I like, but I kind of feel like maybe I like them untamed because I don't have much brow, right? So that's probably why, but probably people who have a lot of brow probably feel like different about that. I feel like they're definitely not gonna be sisters today, okay? They're, they're not even cousins. Get into a little bit of contour. Let's get that in there. I'm trying to do like a little bit above. Give me like some, you know, there you go. Like give me something. I'm bringing it kind of far in, even though I said I didn't want full glammy glam. It looks good. I don't even think that I'm going to blend it in too much because it actually looks pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this contour stick, go down here just to kind of, Get this nose together. Ooh. And then I'll go up right here. And under here. I love this. Y'all, it's so affordable. I think I actually got this from like the beauty supply. I got this from beauty supply. Thought it was super bomb. Okay. 
kind of starting to like a um, contour, a cream contour. Now I'm just going to blend it in. So I'm going to take the tip of this blender and blend it in. We don't want no harsh lines over there. And I consider taking my, my little break or whatever. Um, I think that was like back in July. And I was like, oh, I took down all of the lights and the backdrops. So now that I want to sit down and film, I was like, I don't have all my stuff up. But I'll put them back up later um, because I'm going to be filming another video um, for a fall look. One, actually, I'm going to put up for a shorts video. Um which I did put it up, but I took it, I privated it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unprivate it because I think the look is good for the fall. So you guys will see it. I'll like release it later, um, probably tomorrow or the next day. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit here for a little bit as I figure what I'm gonna be doing with my eyes. I have this LA Colors. Um, it was a $5 palette at Walgreens. And um, it is it's called the Velvety Palette. And look at the color. This is perfect for fall, perfect for winter. But I'm thinking about that one. Um, or I'm thinking about the Transition Palette by Zomini Cosmetics. I love her brand, like literally love. We are going to be using the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to go in to Hazelnut. Because this is going to be good for just like a transition color. Gotta really hit it off. I just think I'm going to keep it simple. Keep it really, really simple. And I don't want to go too much into this area here. I feel like circling it up like this really keeps it like lifted because I am making the mistake all the time. I start to drag down the eye and that is not what I want. I'm going to go into this one here and that one is called uh, Soft and Sweet. Hit it off. I'm just going to dust it on there. Just dust it on there. Really, you should have a flat tip brush, but I'm just gonna do it like this for myself. And that's how we're gonna do it. I don't think that I wanna do anything else. I have cinnamon and coffee bean, um, which I kind of feel like I don't want that heaviness. Even what I dusted on my lids, not really something that I really even wanted on, but I just kind of wanted to blend something else with it. You get me? I think I'm gonna just keep it like that. I don't want to go in too crazy. Maybe I could go in with, ooh, here go the Huda Beauty. I have the Huda Beauties. Her gold palette. What is this? I don't want any of these colors on. I want to keep it like matte and simple. Yeah. She has a brown palette. The car caramel brown. I don't know if you got it. Ooh. We are going with this color right here. I don't know what that color is. That color. Doo -doo -doo -doo, there's no name. Well. Okay, let's go right here with this color. Ooh, ooh, yeah, this one might, this one might just give it. Yes, it might just give. This yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ooh, I like it. I actually do like it. All right. Okay, and she has a gold palette. But I think I'm gonna go back into that Transitions palette. I'm gonna go in with a flat tip. And I'm gonna go back into that Soft and Sweet. And we're gonna go in.
it looks pretty good. It looks good. I like it. Um, all right, so you guys, I'm going to use this um, Fenty Beauty Space Cookies. And I'm going to put that right here in the water line. So this is like really like a brown kind of glittery copper color. So more like a brown. Oh, it looks good. Oh, wow. Oh, it still gets some good. Okay, I'm feeling it. This is really cute. It has like some glitter in there. I know I kept the eyes super simple, you guys. I didn't want to go in too crazy because anyway, what more can you do when you already have a lash on with that that are about to fall off? So I'm just leaving it alone. I'm going in with this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara Times Makeup Shayla. Um, love this. I actually had this for probably like three months and I love it. It's so good. It really lengthens your lashes. It really lengthens them good. This is the Medium Glow Obsessions Mini Face Palette. I think this is so cute when she puts her face on there. Too cute. Too, too cute. Then I'm gonna go into these two, top and bottom. So let's see how she gets, because they look a little bit like not as like they're going to be super chalky or something. I don't know. Ooh. They look good. They look good, not mad. Ooh, it looks smooth. It's nice and smooth. But I feel like for this look, I really wanted no check texture. I feel like this is going to give me texture, you know? It's gonna get texture to the skin. Um, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Too much. Did I put that much on my forehead? Really? Um, let's put a little bit on here. I'm kind of going all through the palette now. Uh-huh. Looks good, looks good. Now let's tone it down a bit. I, I did too much. I did way too much. Mm-hmm. I feel like I did it better on this side. I feel like I have less texture on this side. Is it giving or is it not? Oh, looks good. And I'm packing some in. Okay, my one of my ultimate faves. Um, this is the Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray. So let's um get into it. I think this is called Koki or Kuki. I don't I never know the name. Um it's in the color Heavenly. It's at the drugstore, just a little highlight um, for the inner Quinta. It's just a little, I just want a little highlight, not too much. And this brush actually does apply it lightly. This is um, the Beauty Bakery sugar sticks lip liner in the color chocolate therapy i'm going with a darker one today i'm not even going to start off with a lighter one and uh i'm, I'm okay with that before i even put any lipstick on i still like blend it It blends so good. It really, really does. All right, so I have this from Dose of Color. I just got this actually about a month ago. I haven't used it. It's called, it's in the color Macchiato. It actually came free, actually. It's a gloss. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna try without putting a matte color under. I think it looks pretty good on the lips. Let me put a little bit more highlighter right there. Perfect. I want to use a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. It's kind of like a micro powder, kind of perfecting the skin, kind of giving it a nice a matte look. Um, and I'm going to use this uh, Morphe 
times Jaclyn Hill JH14 brush and just like patting it inside of there and kind of just putting it under the under eye. All the T-zone areas, you know where you want to see it highlighted a little bit more or mattened out or you might have like lost it under a lot of the blush and contour. That's where I want it. Even on the top of the forehead, I feel like I put too much highlighter there. And then especially you want, if you use this, it's especially good because I did not bake here, but it's especially good to kind of take it under here, under the contour, you see? And it just kind of gives what it needs to here. And then I just kind of just brush it, you know, dust it away a little bit. But this is especially where I love to use it under here. Just dust it away. And I kind of feel like I need to blend this. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so I just wouldn't just just have I just love to use it in those areas. I think I'm gonna put some more right here in the front area of the eye. Yes. So I've kind of been doing my makeup like this lately, just kind of like it's like light glam. I should just say light glam. Um yeah. So that's how I've just been doing it lately gonna run some errands before the kids come in from school I'm probably not going to film it while I'm out because it's gonna make me slow down but I just want to show you guys this look I haven't done a little makeup look in a little bit even though it's very very just like simple I'm loving it and I like that palette I love the transition palette and the palette that I use too for the eyes like uh -huh. and I love this finishing this is a game changer and I use it but I never really use it on camera it's kind of odd I never really use it on camera so all right you guys so I'm pretty much finished with this don't forget to like and subscribe you know <laughs>